Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Unconventional Shop Norseman. Sorry for, that I haven't posted in the last couple days. I just decided to take some time off for myself, you know, hang out with the family, get some things done around the house. But uh, I'm back here today, and I've got a little video for you guys and gals today going over what I keep in my creek fishing bag. Now, this bag is just mainly meant for, like the title says, creek fishing. So, small, smaller presentation, smaller fish, all that kind of stuff. So, it's a like a little backpack off brand backpack you can pick up at any of one of your local stores or whatever like 15 20 dollar backpack doesn't have to be anything fancy it's going to get dirty so if it's your favorite backpack your, your nike backpack you don't want to get dirty then i would not recommend bringing it all right let's open it on up and take a look at what we have in here okay so the first first thing we have is one of these little plano tackle boxes uh, and some of the stuff we have in here i've got a couple different hooks yeah, I've got some treble hooks here for cat fishing or some gar fishing if you'd want to do it, you know. That's always good to have. I've got some different size Aberdeen hooks, different shank sizes on it for different types of white bass, panfish, stuff like that. Have some rooster tails down here. This is one of my favorite baits to fish during the late spring and early summer in creeks. It's an amazing bait and I've always caught tons of fish on them. Here I've got some smaller crankbaits. I've got a popper and some different little uh, crank baits, little tiny little uh, jerk bait in there too. <clears throat> now I don't fish bobbers much, but I do keep a couple in here just in case. You know, bigger one and a smaller one. Never know when you might want to tie on some worms or whatever you might want to do when the bite's slow. I do have some dough bait that I'll go over here in a minute. I've got some different uh, little crappie and panfish soft plastics here. But that's the first tackle box. I think I've got three or two of them in here. That's number one. All right, so in number two, I've got over here, as you can see, I've got a bunch of different bigger soft plastics. I'm a big fan of fishing wacky rigs, weightless wacky rigs in uh, creeks. It's just one of my favorite ways to do it. And my favorite hook to do that is a Nico rig hook, which I have shown in other videos, but I'll show it here again. It's a, just a basic little plain hook made by VMC, I think. Let's see if I can hold it up and get a better view for y'all. Something like that. Got a couple different crankbaits in here, a po another popper, a little square bill. <clears throat> Whatever, you, there might be a bigger fish lurking around, you want to try to get that bite. Little um, lipless crankbait. More jig heads for, you know, crappie and smaller bass. Uh, grubs and different smaller soft plastics. I've got a few jigs in here. Uh, something I don't fish as much, but uh, I probably should in creeks is little tiny jigs, 3 16 ounce with a little bitty trailer on it. Um, one of my favorite colors to fish in the creeks is like a watermelon red or a green pumpkin. I've got that here. Um, I do have this new jig I just picked up. It's like a little purple and black one. Got a couple different spinner baits down here along with some other spinners. And that's the second box. You know, something I like with creeks is you're going through water all the time. You're going to be dirty and wet. Pack light. Pack, be a minimalist when you go creek fishing. Bring what you need, but don't bring too much. And in here I've got my crappie and white bass tackle box, which you cannot go wrong with. Got everything you need. You got jig heads down here and every different type of trail that you might want to use for all different types of environments and uh, bottoms. But not only do I keep fishing tackle in here, I keep some other things in here uh, that could be pretty useful. Let's see, is it in here? Maybe. All right. I keep a thing of, thing of waterproof matches just in case you need to start a little fire. And I keep a little line clipper, nail clipper, multi-use thing. All right. In here, where is the zipper for that? All right. What do I have in here? In here, I've got a couple different things. I've got a knife. I always keep a larger knife on me when I go um, to the to a creek. Uh, I'll probably carry this one on my belt, but in case I don't, if I don't want it to get super wet or anything, I'll keep it in my backpack. But I prefer to have it on my belt. Midnight, get out of there, buddy. Come on. Come here, baby. Midnight's a nosy little guy. He's my little puppy. <clears throat> if you guys would like to see some more videos about Midnight, please leave a comment down below. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Bobby. I keep a bottle of water. Always good to have hydration. I keep a life strong in case that bottle of water runs out and you are thirsty. It's good for like 100 gallons or 1,000 gallons or something. Oh, wait, what does it say? 4,000 liters, so 1,000 gallons. And I keep a emergency trauma bandage. Anyone who's ever done a lot of uh, creek exploring or going fishing in the creeks know that you can't get hurt. Sometimes you might trip, uh, you get a pretty big gash in you, 
or you know whatever it may be and this is always helps you can do anything like a show you there something like this you can pick up online or at a local store for like 15 20 dollars always good to prepare be prepared with it i don't think i'd ever need it but hopefully i wouldn't but uh just you know have it just in case i do keep some extra soft plastics in here and just in case i want to try something different sorry that's uh the water heater or someone taking a shower i've got some different sankos here you know sankos is a bait i've gone over in different videos but You'll, anytime the bait is slow, that's the go-to bait, especially the, during the spawn like we're in right now. Got some different crappie and white bass baits here, different colored ones. Something special, some craw patterns. Cr uh, a lot of creeks have crawfish in them here in Missouri, so uh, I always make sure to have a good bit of craws. Then some little bitty uh, swim baits. Always ha gotta have a pair of pliers in case the f fish swallows the hook. Gotta go down there and get it. Keep a little key knife in here too, just in case, you know, whatever I need it for. In case someone else is fishing with me and they need to borrow a knife. But um, that is all on, that I have for today's video. I will be taking tomorrow off. It is Easter, so I'm going to spend a lot of time with the family. I hope you all do the same, and I'll uh, see you next time on the Unconventional Outdoorsman. Please be sure to hit the sub button if you haven't, and hit the notification bell. Switch it to all notifications, and that way you will be notified every time we make a new video. Thank you for watching, and have an amazing Saturday.